In tonight's continuing coverage, we are hearing from this woman who you've seen now brought to her feet thanks to the community. We told you how Lindsay Spoon, who has cerebral palsy, needed help raising 20 grand for a wheelchair that helps her to stand up. Mm -hmm. On Fox 23 News at 9, we told you how her goal was to be able to buy a chair to share a message to insurance companies who won't pay the full cost. Fox 23's John Estevez joins us live with this story. John. Yeah, so just the fact that she raised twenty thousand dollars in the community health that's an incredible story itself but i looked at her insurance policy with medicaid and medicare and when it comes to those standing power chairs they consider not primarily medical in nature in fact i took it a step further and for manual chairs and manual power systems those are also not primarily medical in nature lindsay spoon with her new chair wants to stand up and change that Lindsay Spoon says even with cerebral palsy, standing is essential. This wheelchair allows her to do it. She tried this one out for free, but had to raise $20,000 to buy one of her own. In just a matter of days, she says it improved her blood circulation, brought the swelling down in her feet, helped her use the bathroom more often, and helped her speech. For someone like Lindsay, even with her condition, it's not something fully covered by Medicaid. Before she ever had the opportunity to stand, she was at the state capitol advocating, speaking with senators and state officials for people who are in wheelchairs and have disabilities. She's spoken to large groups before, and she's a part of nonprofits that support and encourage advocacy. She wants her voice to be heard by insurance companies and wants them to know this chair is likely helping her live longer. Not only are there health benefits to it, there's social benefits. I'm, um, I will be able to give speeches and talks standing up, but it will also prolong my life. It means a lot to me, and my tagline is five you need advocacy. Advocacy is a fight, but it's a good fight if you're going to impact somebody's life because you're not only impacting your own life, but maybe impacting somebody else's life. Her mother holding her hand agrees. I think that insurance companies need to think about quality of life and longevity. And I feel like if there is technology out there that can help someone who has a disability, that it should be covered. Lindsay is in the process of being fitted for her chair, hoping she can stand and speak someday at the Capitol in front of lawmakers. So I wanted to find out myself how the state and federal government, I guess, distribu uh, distribute those funds and how they're used and how they decide what coverage is expanded and what is fully covered. I've reached out to our House Committee of Health here in Oklahoma, but as of today, I started reaching out two days ago, have not heard back yet. Covering news that matters, I'm John Acebus, Fox 23 News. Thanks, cooling off now.